there's one on the Mahara. Look at them all. Yep, got one on just the hook. Ooh, that might be a snapper. That's a good one. I don't know how I have the entire artificial reef to myself right now, but I do, so I'm gonna try and take advantage of it, see if we can get some snappers. I was just gonna fish inshore, but it is so nice offshore right now that I had to take advantage of it when I can. So I ran out here, I got two dozen shrimp, and I'm gonna see if I can get some mangrove snappers right quick. Right now, I'm just kinda getting my line ready to go. So all I'm using is about a two foot section of 20 pound fluorocarbon leader and about eight inches up from the hook i have a split shot to help it get down pretty slowly i don't want it to go down like it would with an egg weight just nice uh natural presentation and i got it down to a size one circle look right here i'm gonna put a live shrimp on that went ahead and picked up two dozen live shrimp and got some pins in there too these are nice size ones as well i'm just gonna take them hook them right back here by the tail just like that so the hook sits Perfect like that. And I am on top of the structure right now that I like to fish. And I'm gonna drop it down. We're about four miles offshore on an artificial reef. You can find these public numbers like this online. Pinellas County at, at least has them uh, pretty well documented online. So you just Google it and then you can find these numbers and come out here and catch some fish. All this is is just a bunch of like old bridge pilings that they dumped out here on this bit of sand and just attracts a bunch of these fish. So let's see if there's any mangroves down there right now. I got a fish, I don't know what it is. I got something. Oh, it's a blue runner. Not what I was going after. A little bycatch. A couple blue runners there. These are great kingfish baits, but I'm not rigged for kingfish right now, it's not. Really the time of year to be catching them this shallow, so I'm just gonna let this guy go. Blue runner right there. See you, dude. Let's get another shrimp. Back by the tail right here. Oh, and I'm using my Pen Battle 3 2500 with 10 pound braid on my St. Croix Avid Inshore seven foot light action rod. If I was really going hard for mangroves right now, I'd come out here with like a chum bag and maybe some frozen sardines and really see if I could chum them up, but this is just a quick little trip that I didn't even think I was going to be doing this morning. I'm going to try to hook him up by the head this time. See if that makes any difference. There's a fish. Ooh, that might be a snapper. Come on. It is a snapper. Perfect. He's like right at legal size. But well, that is the species we're here for. He's, so this is where it's gonna be. It's 11 and a half inch snapper, which really is a legal size snapper. They only need to be 10 inches. But for me personally, I don't like keeping any that are under 13. So I'm gonna let this guy go. See dude. If I'm starting to run a little bit low on shrimp, and I catch a fish about that size, a snapper about that size, I might consider keeping them just so I have something to eat. But for now, when it's early on, I'm not too worried about it. So that one I hooked in the head where I caught that mangrove. So let's try that again. There we go. That feels decent. Another mangrove. One's a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna let him go. But there are mangroves down there, which is a good sign. See you, dude. I'm gonna try dropping a pin. Here we go. Oh, it's just a lot of blue runners. A lot of jacks. Look at all these jacks. I think my pen got eight. 
Yeah, he did. Let's see if I can catch one just using the like split shot and hook. Let it sink down and then work it like a lure. Look at them all. Look at them all. Yep, got one on just the hook. Oh, he popped off. There's so many of them. They're literally just biting the split shot right above the hook. Got one. I am surrounded by small jack revolver right now. Look at these little guys. They're like perfect shark bait size. See you, dude. Again, hooking them through the head. That seems to be working right now. Normally hook them through the tail, but I'm gonna do what works. There we go. That feels a little bit better. Another mangrove. Another one about the same size, actually. Just these little guys. See you, dude. Gotta get a couple keepers. There we go. No! How'd he come off? Dang it. Gotta keep trying. There's one. That's a good one. That's a better one, I think. Oh, dude, you took off with it. I thought you were going to be a lot bigger. Bunch of little grovers today. See, dude? I'm going to try dropping a Mahara down. I heard these are great snapper baits. Let's put that to the test. Well, I almost dropped them. Bottom jaw up through the top jaw, just like that. See if this can entice a bigger one to bite. Oh, that's a big Spanish mackerel. Couple of them. There's one on the Mahara. That's a better fish. Oh, it's a grouper. Little baby grouper. Little baby gag grouper on the Mahara. There we go. Little baby gag grouper right there. See, you, dude. This is Jack. Oh, mackerel. Good size. Oh, he cut me off. I was going to say, that was a good size mackerel. Yeah, it just cut me. There's one. Ooh, that doesn't feel bad. What is this? Ooh, a mangrove. Oh, yeah, that's a, the best one so far today. That's a good one. There we go, hooks out. Get the measurement on. Right there. 11 and a half. I'm gonna keep this guy and then keep fishing see if I can get any bigger ones. So I got one keeper in the box, that's good. I'm not going hungry tonight. See if we can get a bigger one or a couple more. There's another one. Oh, that's a good one right here. Come on up. Another keeper. We're on him now. Whoa. This one's 12 inches. A little bit bigger than the other one. Keep this guy too. So we're here in the kitchen and we're gonna cook up this mangrove snapper that we have here. As you can tell, Hurley really wants to be involved in this video, so she'll probably be making a couple noises. But first thing we're gonna do is take some of this blackened redfish magic right here and sprinkle it on the fish. We already have the grill warmed up pretty, pretty high. We're gonna keep it around like four to 450 
uh, while we're cooking these fish, but we're gonna try and coat the fish right now. This is our mangrove snapper right here that we caught yesterday. Get a nice coating of this on there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this fish and put it into some tacos. We actually made some shrimp tacos last time. We have uh, a mango salsa that we didn't use all of, so we're gonna recycle that tonight and make some fish tacos. Boom, that should be good. Now we'll go pan the, pan the grill, get these fish cooking. Go pan the, pan the grill right quick. Fit them all on one side. Lay them down right on the grill. I'm gonna cover that up and like I said probably about two to three minutes on each side because they are a little bit smaller so I'm gonna keep an eye on the temperature keep it around 450 to 400 degrees and we'll check back in about two minutes so it's been about three minutes here so we're gonna check on our fish oh yeah that's looking good it's already flaking there we go Got the flame back on a little bit. Turn that down. We'll give it another two, three minutes on that side. All right, so it's been about four minutes on this side with the, the flame going under, underneath it. So should be done. Check it right quick. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Get these off the grill. We'll let them sit on the plate a little bit, let them cool off and then get them ready for the tacos. Gonna let that cool on the plate a little bit and go get our taco supplies ready. We got dogs playing out on the, the lanai right now. Oh girl. Okay, back to your regularly scheduled programming. We have our fish tacos about to be made. I'm just gonna make one quickly to show you guys. So I'm gonna take some of this snapper right here. Lay it down, make a nice little bed of snapper. Got a healthy amount of fish right there. I'm gonna take a little bit of our mango salsa. Again, I don't know what is exactly in this. My girlfriend made it yesterday for the shrimp tacos, but I will have it listed down with all the ingredients down in the description if you wanna try and recreate this. And I'll leave that in there. And then take some Mexican blend cheese and just lightly over the top. And I want Cat and Tater, who is behind the camera right now, to be the first taste test. All right, mango salsa snapper, black and snapper. First bite. That's good. The blackened seasoning and the mangoes, the mango sauce is really good. Yeah, it is. Wow. As far as fish tacos go, that mango sauce makes it. Yeah. Solid eight. Like I said, I don't know exactly what's in it, but I will figure it out and put it in the description down below. You want to do the outro? Go balls! Go balls! <laughs> <laughs>